So my mum's like really dead hacked off with me at the moment because she says that I'm not pulling any weight around the house and that I just lays around like smoking suspicious substances and watching Jeremy Kyle. Uh, and she said that I've got to get like a proper job. And uh, I said to her, I said, ma'am, I'm not getting a proper job. I'm not going to do out like that. And she said, well, how are you going to make your money then? Like, I'm not always going to be here to look after you. And I said, ma'am, don't worry about it. I'm going to be famous this time next year. And she said, oh, Becky, don't make me laugh, right? How are you going to be famous? You don't sing, you don't dance, you don't act. You've like got absolutely no talent. You've got no qualifications. And I said, uh, don't worry, ma'am. Like, I'm going to get on a like a Channel 4 documentary or a Channel 5 documentary or like a BBC documentary. And uh, then I'm going to get a bit of fame behind me and then I'm going to be famous. And she said, like, Becky, how does that work? How do you keep famous? And I said, by being a complete bitch about everybody, it works. It doesn't matter if you're posh or you're dead common. If you're really offensive in the newspapers about everybody and things that are going on about things that people really care about, then the papers like put you on the front page and everybody hates you. And then you become a millionaire and then like you get your own column in the Daily Mail or something like that. And my mum didn't get it at first. She said, well, how does that work? Right, don't people like, like don't people ignore you or something like a small child and put you on the naughty step and just pretend you're not there and I said no ma'am that's not how it works what what happens is everybody gets really angry and then the angrier they get the more famous I get so the more controversial I am the more famous I get uh and then I get my own like slot in the Daily Mail apparently and uh, I get to go on Loose Women and uh, I get to get interviewed on this morning and if like all other stuff fails like if that's not like causing enough interest in me what I do is like I get um, loads more plastic surgery done and I have a couple of kids uh and I name them after like cities like Africa and stuff like that and then I slate other people whose kids are named after cities like Africa or countries or whatever it is um so my mum was like, all right, just give it a shot then. Let's see what we can do. So I've applied to a load of Channel 4 series. And then this afternoon I'm going to the doctors and I'm saying I've got like, I'm not happy with my face and my boobs and uh, I've got like dysmorphia or something. And I'm going to say I've got that. And then I'll get my lips and my boobs done uh, and I'll get on a documentary. And then like next year I'll have like, like a mansion in Cheshire. And I'll be married to a footballer and I'll be going to like nightclubs and uh, I need to get pregnant first as well. And like be photographed drinking booze and like smoking fags and stuff like that whilst I'm pregnant. So people hate me even more. And then that's how you get like a really long career as a famous person. That's how you get to be a millionaire. Uh, you don't really need any talent. You just need to be a bitch and you get really far. I'm quite excited about it, really.